In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of mobilizing the thoracic spine. First of all, I'm going to start with the upper T-spine. And we're going to get the patient to place his arms almost like in a cross position here. And then place his arms towards his forehead. So let's do that one to start with. Okay. And then I'm going to then bring my arms through onto the base of the neck around the C71. Use your fingertips onto the upper part of the T-spine and then just watch your own position in here. So I tend to have one leg forward, one leg back, and I'm going to bring him forward towards me. Okay. Just make sure that the couch is stable when you do this because the, the light the couches have a tendency to tilt yeah, when you get a patient to sit towards the end. What I'm going to do here now is use my fingers and I'm going to just bring him towards me as I mobilize into extension. It doesn't look like you're doing that much, but it feels quite comfortable and quite effective for the patient. So from a flex position of the opening of the facets, I'm going to use my fingers here and I'm just going to apply pressure and encourage with mobility some extension exercise. You can also tell that the mid thorax is flexing and extending as well, but I'm trying to just focus on here. And I can also use my arms and increase the extension towards that upper T-spine. It's hard to say how long we do it for. I tend to do it for one or two minutes until I feel we have a change to the tissues. Just watch the position's neck. Okay, the patient's neck yeah, in that sort of position. Now the second one, I'm gonna use a pillow. If a man is working with a woman and vice versa, then I suggest we have a pillow to separate the contact, even though we still contact in. So a pillow here. So I'm gonna drop down to the patient. Their arms are gonna come over like this. And then my hands are gonna come round to the mid thoracic spine. Fingers either side. So there's the spine as process is, my fingers either side of the gully. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm literally just going to allow my patient to flex, and then I'm going to stand up and extend. So my fingers, I can start upper lumbar, lower T-spine. So we can start in flexion, use my fingers. So I'm literally using my fingers and traction in as I'm extending the patient. So I can drop, and then I can work up the spine. So, so I'm almost standing, so I'm squatting or half squatting and extending through. Okay, because it is quite physical between what you are doing. Okay, but get used to it, you know, if you are a therapist and then you are passively mobilizing the patient, then it is quite manual intensive. From here, what I'm going to do, I can do a couple more things. I can have my hand one side, my fingers here, and I can cause like a side shift where the spine is side bending to the left, the facet joints are opening on the right and closing on the left. So it's a nice little mobility exercise as we do this. To do the other side is not so easy, I can do it, okay? Just watch your back as you're doing this sort of side shifting across here. So you can side shift one way, side shift. And then I can also use my fingers on a gully on this side here, and I can then rotate and mobilize. Rotate, this is controlling. My opposite hand is doing because I can use my fingers in a gully with a t-shirt on is better than directly onto bare skin. And I can mobilize him through. If I want to do a rotation on the other side, it's easier for a patient to then reach on the other side. Okay, so I quite like that one, especially with the pillow between you and them. I still, even if I was working on a man, working on a man, I still use a pillow because it give, gives you that bit more comfort between the two. And these are very nice techniques to encourage mobilization to the thoracic spine.